Yeah, we're going sailing today. Are you excited? We really are hooting. The one day he picks to wear shoes. <laughs> Trying to be a responsible father. Darling, you were on your own when you met me. I'm Elena and this is Riley. And this is our home, La Vagabond. <laughs> We've been sailing around the world for the last five years and have recently found ourselves with a stowaway. Meet Lenny. Subscribe and welcome aboard. So this is our current whereabouts, here at Cat Island in the Bahamas. If you were with us last week, you would have seen that we were on our way to Long Island, where the deepest blue hole in the world is. We're both super keen to freedive it, more so Riley. But yeah, then the wind changed direction on us and we were forced to drop the anchor here. But no one's complaining. Just rigged up our little handy cam and we're going to town. I love these things. We used to paint these at school. Oh, this is pretty cute, Lenny. I don't really trust those rusty screws either, Lenny. Oh, and I'm not even kidding, I just got a splinter on the back of my leg from getting up. I wouldn't sit on that, I just got a splinter. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's been a while since I inspected the rigging. Beautiful. Little rope swing right here. We just met a local lady named Karen who took us to her little restaurant. There's not many places around here, so her and her husband are going to cook us up some uh, lobster, I think. <laughs> Bet you they have parties on this beach. You can see the light set up. <laughs> Cheers, darling. <laughs> How fitting that is. <laughs> If I had an alcoholic drink right now, I'd end up like Lenny in about two seconds. <laughs> well, that was pretty random. Very random. <laughs> Reminds me of when I was travelling in Indonesia with my mates. It's windy today. Hope the tender's still there. Me too. <laughs> Look at this water. Stunning. Can't wait to go for a swim tomorrow. So the wind's really supposed to pick up tomorrow, but we're in a good protector spot here. We might even be able to swim these rocks over there at some stage. Another day you're not around. I'm surrounded by the sound. Your footsteps as you go. And if I told you, would you stay? Doesn't matter anyway. I hope your flowers grow. We just laid outside with a bean bag and Lenny looking at the stars and it was so beautiful. Say good night. Say good night, Papa. Good night. Good night, mate. Good night, guys. I wonder where you've gone. It's long, long, long. Long, long, long. Morning, guys. Lenny's just having a little sit down, playing with his toys. Morales just jumped in the water, looking to check on the anchor. We've got some wind coming today, but the anchor's gonna be towed off. I have a face. <laughs> I have a face mask on, I just realized. I seen your sister the other day. She's crying out your name. You know I feel the same. You said meet me by the sea. Let that bleeding heart run free. I have to let you know. This rattle uh, was at Hannah and Mike's house, and it was like the only, one of the only few toys um, that Lenny has taken a liking to. So we asked Hannah if we could keep it, and she was like, of course. So thank you, Hannah. <laughs> Lenny loves his new pink rattle, don't ya? <laughs> Poor Lenny. <laughs> My mum told me off the other day, I was on the phone to her, and I said that said something about the fact that we'd kept this toy from Hannah's house and she's like you have to buy more toys 
but we really just didn't want the boat filled with toys but I realise now why people buy them because they keep babies entertained yes they do yes they do all right I need to clean this lens because it's got raindrops on it and I need to clean my face so speak soon how's the water the water is, in, there is nothing better in the whole world than going for a swim in a beautiful protected anchorage. Absolutely. Oh, so good. I'm just making some lunch. And the boys apparently have a new trick. Ready? Lenny, concentrate. Show me Lenny. Hey, come on. Focus. Ready? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> You're very clever. <laughs> Go. Riley's just jumped in the water for a swim here. Uh, we're going to sail around the corner today to, as I mentioned, uh, this is the highest peak in the Bahamas here on Cat Island. So we're going to go climb it. Apparently there's some historical stuff on there that is a must see. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to clean these holes. They're grubby. Really? Yeah. You want to do that before we go or when we get there? I don't like looking at it. You hear that? <laughs> I haven't written them Even though I really try to stone low sun to my eyes Still I fly, still I fly away Riley, this one? Still I fly, still I fly Going sailing today, Are you excited? Yeah. yeah. The mainsail halyards hooked around something up the top, so we had to undo it down the bottom here. And we're hopefully going to try and just flick it off when it's hooked around. Lenny, what's wrong, baby? You need to sleep? Do you need to go to bed? Okay, just hold there because we also don't want to start sailing. So that, that's good for now. And then once we're facing this way, right, I want you to start coming up on the anchor. Yeah, this is perfect. Just here, come up a bit more. All right, now leave that, now get this out. Let let out the rest of this. Bit of a nervous start, darling. Yeah. We did it, we did it. There was rocks and boats and we like set the sails and like scooted out of the anchorage without the engine and I was really nervous about hitting the rocks. Because <laughs> we were heading for them, so. No, it was good, we got it done. It was good. Leeward side of the island, no waves. Um, we have a few shallow patches to dodge. It's right on low tide right now. So we're going 6.3 knots. Yeah. So we're doing, we've got two reefs in the main and we're doing 6.8 knots at 30 degrees apparent wind angle to the wind. That's 
Unbelievable. We really are hooting. My heart's like just staying on right now. So can I breathe it all up? So I can be in peace again. And I've been, I've been messing around. I've been, I've been thinking about how I'll be picking up the pieces City lights take their toll on me I'm starting to think I need to so We're actually, we could go right up and anchor on the beach if we wanted because we could get shallower and shallower and shallower but we want a little bit of wind. You want a little bit to keep the place cool and also to keep away mosquitoes and insects, which is why we don't go and anchor right on the beach all the time. Because back there it's blowing 20 knots and on the beach it's zero. And somewhere in between is the place anchor, which is right here. Lenny's just having a nap and um, yeah, we're about to go into town and hike this hill. But I just wanted to quickly say, I just had a look at our channel and I can't believe like, how many new people are here, how far we've come, like both with the channel but mostly on our boat obviously, we've sailed such a long way from the start and um, yeah just wanted to say thank you and if you're new here please go back and watch from the start, Riley and I are thinking of doing a quiz, are there nuts in my teeth? <laughs> I just had some nuts, that would be really awkward. Definitely go back and watch from the start because we're going to do a quiz very soon. Um, and there'll be a prize for whoever can answer all of our questions. Yeah, what's the prize going to be? And we have not discussed this. I thought it'd be fun. <laughs> they can get uh, one of our new t-shirts and a right. sick sticker pack. I'm glad this isn't live. <laughs> it really is like incredible what's been happening around here lately so really appreciate all of our new people around the place if it is your first time watching this video subscribe and check out what we're up to cool guys all right You know how I always laugh at Riley for never wearing sneakers anyway? He always wears his thongs, like even on hikes and stuff. The one day he picks to wear his shoes. <laughs> We're on a gravel road. I can think of about 20 other times where you actually should have been wearing sneakers. Trying to be a responsible father. Aww. I thought that's what might have been going on. The summit of Mount Alvernia is capped with curious stone structures that look like a cathedral from a distance. But it's really a hermitage built by a Catholic priest in the mid 1900s. There's a tiny one room church, a bedroom, a shower room, an eating room and a 20 foot tall observation bell tower. Very narrow little stairwells. Very tiny people. <laughs> From up here, you can see the ocean to both the east and west side of the island. We hung out up the top there for a while before we decided that it was probably time to head home and get out of the sun. I guess this used to be the fresh water well, but now it's filled with plastic. I might just take him out and let a bit of blood flow down to the legs. <laughs> How's that, Lenny? We get our skin checked every year when we go back to Adelaide and throughout the year we kind of just monitor each other's skin and Riley's just noticed he has like an itchy new freckle which is a sign of skin cancer being itchy and red so um, yeah, one of our friend's mums is a skin cancer lady, so we're going to take a photo and send it to her in the meantime. And if it's something to be concerned about, we can find a skin cancer clinic. But, um, yeah, it's good to stay on top of that. So we are in the sun a lot. It's funny, because when we go into the skin clear, skin 
care clinics. They look at like tan skin and they just go, oh, you'll be fine. They do a thorough check, but it leads me to believe that it's probably less likely to occur on Elena or I or even Lenny. And we're very, very careful to make sure that Lenny stays out of the sun yeah. as much as possible, given we live on a boat. I'm Wade, this is my partner Joe. We're here in Vanuatu and we've been watching Riley and Elena now for about four years. We love the lifestyle that Riley and Elena have. They've inspired us a lot uh, and we just wanted to give them a little something back. And so if you guys get as much enjoyment out of the videos as we do, we'd encourage you to become patrons as well. Okay, bye. <laughs> Miss the farmer's market. Just got some really essential items, mostly fresh stuff, and these pears look beautiful. Don't feel those. Tune in next Monday for the journey over to Long Island. It's a really long island, but we plan to see it all and Riley's going to try and beat his personal best in the blue hole.